Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to a really interesting day. So today we've had the Sea Power Conference being held on May 19th, 2021, this morning. And from that came some very informative posts. The main one I want to focus on is, ideally, the image in the background. And if you've got a Twitter account and you follow Navy Lookout or UK Defence Journal or something like that, you'd probably already know this information. Or if you're on the Discord channel, you've probably already let me know and hence this video. So, this morning, the Type 31 frigates have been named. There's five of the ships, okay? You've got HMS Active, Bulldog, Campbelltown, Formidable and Ventura. Now, I know everyone was hoping for the Leander class, but unfortunately we haven't got that. But we do have what is possibly going to be the active class, the Type 31, which is still really, really good, okay? Now, let's go and have a look at exactly what these ships were named after to give you an idea of why they were named this. So, the lead ship, HMS Active, was named after the Type 21 frigate from the Falklands War. She was a Type 21 frigate, she survived, and she then went into service with the Pakistani Navy. However, she was sunk in a Missile X early this year. HMS Bulldog is the second ship of the class. Now, it's rather interesting to think why she's been called Bulldog, because Bulldog was a World War II B-class destroyer, and is also a hydrographic survey ship. That was the last one. Not too sure why they've called it Bulldog, but I'm happy to go with HMS Bulldog. Hull 3 will be HMS Campbelltown. Now, the preceding Campbelltowns was a Type 22 Batch 3 frigate, and is also a town-class destroyer from World War II. The latter one we did ram into the Saint-Nazaire dry dock in France in World War II, so it's possibly named after that vessel. Hull 4 is HMS Formidable. Now, the preceding Formidable was an aircraft carrier of the illustrious class. Bit of a climb down in terms of capital ship name for a frigate, but it's still very, very interesting. Now, Formidable did take part in World War II. She also got kamikaze a few times and still trotted on, because British aircraft carriers with uh, armed flight decks was a pretty good idea. But that's hull number four. Hull five is the more interesting vessel because I can't really find much to do with notable venturers, you see. So the preceding venturer was a converted minesweeper, which was actually a commercial trawler. That was back in 1978. The one preceding that was the name allocated to three tenders of HMS Flying Fox in Bristol. The one before that, which is possibly what it might have been named after, was a V-class submarine from 1943 when it was sold to the Norwegian Navy. Now, I can neither confirm nor deny exactly why they've named these ships. This is literally just a quick speculation of why they've named after these vessels. But it'd be interesting to see in the coming days why they've actually been named after these vessels. I can obviously guess the first four was the reasons why I gave. Ventura is probably going to be the most interesting one and the most looked into. So we'll have to see in the next coming days. Aside from that, hopefully today we might also see the world's first FOTEX between the two Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carriers at sea, which will be very nice to see, because they're very big ships and they're very nice looking. That's all, take care folks, I'll see you soon. So just before you turn the video off, while this video was rendering, I was looking through Twitter, the first sea lord, Admiral Tony Radikin, had actually now stated the ships are going to be called the Inspiration class. Now, every single ship in the class is going to be named after, or reflecting, one of the Royal Navy's values and aspirations, which is kind of cool. That's it. Catch you later.